Well, I was surprised to find how much I had secretly hoped this would happen because I was very moved and uh, startled and extremely pleased. And I thought it wouldn't happen because I'm not a member of the Baseball Writers, which is nothing against the uh, wonderful Baseball Writers Association, but uh, I've been hoping to be a member somehow for many years, but it never seemed to be within reach. This brings me closer. Anyway, I was really pleased. I'm very, very happy, and I'm stunned. I have a lot of old friends and idols of mine who have won this award, starting with Red Smith, I guess, and Dick Young, Jerry Holson, people like that, and I really care about Peter Gammons, and so uh, being their number is a huge honor. I probably dreamed about this message somewhere, maybe in an actual dream, but it was in the back of my mind, and I said, can it be? Then it occurred to me that Jack, being a very nice guy, was calling me to say, sorry, I made a nice try. I didn't quite win it, but that wasn't true. I don't think it was bias, but it was based on, on stuff that happened all the time, which was the the working the working writers, the guys covering the game, had to stay late and write their stories. And I would watch the game and, and interview a couple of guys or go to an interview room or whatever process or what time, which era we were in. And then I would go home, and then they were just starting to work. So some natural resentment built up. And uh, I would write later, much later in many cases, and uh, not, not against a deadline like that. I mean, there's a deadline seems horrible even here, even though I had a week or so. But, um, and I think that's a natural resentment. And also, I was a drop-in writer. I wasn't there every day. So I turned I turned up again to cover some story or some series or some play or something that I was interested in. I would always go to the daily guys and ask ask questions, and they were unfailingly generous. Well, not unfailingly. Maybe there were a couple of guys who were not very generous, but almost everybody was generous and would tell me what they knew and then what to ask him and help me out. All all the time I've been doing this, all these 50 years or more I've been doing this. The local guys, the the beat writers, were were just terrific to me. Starting with Dick Young, boy, Cooperstown in the middle of summer is great, and to be in that group of people with those three great managers who were all friends of mine, every one of them, I got oceans of copy out of those guys and became friends with every one of them. So I can hardly wait to be there and shake their hands and congratulate them. 